Tomorrow is Cinco de Mayo, and the Mexican Patriotic Committee of Metro Detroit has a full weekend of events. Joining us this morning with all the details is President Elma Cruz, and I want to say good morning to you, and uh, mm -hmm. thanks for joining us here. So I want to jump into this because a lot of people know about Cinco de Mayo, and we're going to talk about that. But tell us a little bit about the Mexican Patriotic Committee. The Mexican Patriotic Committee, we're a nonprofit organization whose mission is to uphold the traditions of the migrant families that settled in Southwest Detroit and the surrounding communities. Um, we also try to provide events and safe spaces for families to gather and stimulate commerce along the Werner Corridor. Okay, so it's more than just planning of the events, which is you know nice to see that that organization exists in Southwest Detroit. And uh, we were just talking about it during the commercial break. When it comes to Cinco de Mayo, a lot of people know about it, they celebrate it, but what's the significance of it? Like what's, what's behind the celebrations? It's a traditional celebration of the Battle of Puebla in Mexico. So it is locally celebrated, uh, mostly for the sim uh, because it symbolizes resilience of a people. So it's a chance for the community to celebrate that resilience, to share their culture, to eat good food, to spend it with family and friends. And the Cinco de Mayo just gives it, gives them more of a reason to celebrate and share their culture. I see, so can you give us an, a preview or an overview of what we could expect for the 58th Cinco de Mayo celebrations in Southwest Detroit? Yeah, definitely. Um, we're very proud that we have made it to 58th uh, annual Cinco de Mayo Parade. This year's theme is Music of Our Heritage, which resonates with all families. We come together around um, food and music. Uh, so it is a 2.4 mile procession from Patton Park to Clark Park, which is Woodmere and Verner to uh, Scotton and Verner. And all along the route, you'll see floats, um, charros, horses, dignitaries, schools, uh, musicians. So nice. it's, it's a way for all community stakeholders to participate in the celebrations and it's a way for visitors to come and have a safe space to enjoy the floats and all the festivities. Now it sounds like, sounds really nice that you have that set up. Now I know there's a lot of construction going on down there and a lot of, um, we'll say, improvements that are taking place. So is there anything you would like people to know if they want to make their way down to celebrate in Southwest Detroit? Yeah, so definitely know that the parade starts at 12 noon, so the roads will start closing at 11.30 a.m. They'll start opening again at 2.30 p.m., so plan accordingly, come beforehand um, before they start closing, eat at the many restaurants, the many different uh, cuisines of our cultures, and stay afterwards as well to eat and enjoy in the festivities. And I'm glad you mentioned that, to stay. So if you come down there for Cinco de Mayo to participate in just the events, what are some other things that people can do, you know, in Southwest Detroit? Say there's somebody who's never been to Southwest Detroit, you know, what is there waiting yeah. for them? Well, Sunday is the grand finale. It is the parade on May 7th that starts at 12 noon. Um, but there's a lot of festivities going on throughout the weekend. On Friday, um, Delta Tal Lambda Sorority is hosting uh, Cinco de Mayo, M-I-L-E, oh, okay. <laughs> fun okay. run for mental health awareness because uh, May is Mental Health Awareness Month. That's at Clark Park, so that's in the heart of the celebrations, and that's at 5.30 on Friday, so if you want to come down for that. Um, there's many restaurants to partake in, there's all the businesses, and then there is the Cinco de Mayo Fiesta, which is at 21st and Bagley Street, right behind okay. Donovan's Pub. That runs Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, closing at 8 p.m. on Friday and Saturday, and 7 p.m. on Sunday, it's going to have musicians, vendors, food trucks. Um, there's a Selena impersonator there. Oh, there so. We're going to have a, <laughs> a Latino Greek yard show on Sunday. So there's so much entertainment there, and that's 21st and Bagley. So bring a lawn chair, come and eat at all the uh, food trucks and restaurants, and it'll be great family fun. You know what? There's all the information you have there on your screen. I'm sure we're going to post it on WXYZ.com and the weather is going to cooperate. So that's going to work out for us as well. From the Patriotic Committee, we want to thank you so much for joining us here.